If you need to apply filters to your table, that's something that Excel's Copilot can help you with, even if you've got complicated filters or multiple fil filters you want to apply. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. So as long as you've got your data set selected somewhere, click on Copilot, and what we're going to do is give it some instructions. So in this case, I'm going to say filter, filter this table to only show uh, product, products A and E. So this way I'm specifying multiple criteria for it. And so what it's going to do is it's going to filter based on the criteria I specified. So I didn't have to specify column column D. It knows which, which column to look at. So it's going to tell me that it's going to apply a filter on the column product of table table one and so I'm going to click on apply so it's going to confirm that's what I want and now it's going to apply those changes onto here so obviously this is a bit uh, a bit of a simplistic task to do and it you know if you were to do it it'd take you a couple seconds probably to do that but with uh, with copilot you can apply more advanced filters or multiple conditions at once and that can be helpful if you know you don't want to go through um, doing this one by one so for example, we can say, okay, also filter by rep A and rep G. So I just wanna have just those two sales reps filtered. So rep A and rep G. And so it's gonna apply that filter in addition to the filter we've already got here. So I'm gonna hit apply. And so it's done those. So now I've got product A, product E, and I've got rep A and rep G. So I've applied those filters. Now let's do a more complicated filter. And in this case, I'm going to filter by the sales column. So first I'm going to say remove the existing filters, then filter sales so that it shows sales values between $200 and $300. So by doing this, we're, we're applying a more specific criteria. So we're not just selecting items or selecting a specific range of values. And at the same time, asking Copilot to remove the filters we already have in place. And so here it tells us the steps it's gonna take, remove the filters and then apply a filter to total sales so that it only shows values between 200 and 300. I'm gonna hit apply. And so it's gonna take those steps and we can see the filters are gone for these ones. We only see the filters for the total sales. And so we can see what it's done by clicking this and under number filters, we can see it's selected between and specified between greater than or equal to 200 and less than or equal to 300. So it's applied our filter. So obviously we could have done this manually, but if you're not used to um, setting up filters, especially when you've got ranges of values, you want to look greater than or less than or between, then Excel's Copilot can help you with that. And then you can also review and see how it's applied those filters. And the cool thing about it is, you know, you can you can walk it through step by step, first filtering one item, then filtering another, or you can specify multiple things at once. Like in this previous instruction, it's done two steps for us at once. So we don't have to do one by one, but we can do can do that if we want to. So, so if you're just doing a tedious filtering or you're selecting a sales rep, obviously you might not get a whole lot of use out of Copilot in this case. But if you want to apply uh, multiple multiple criteria such as uh, you know filtering by multiple fields specifying a range then copilot can make that process a whole lot easier to, to set that up for you and then you can review it and then if you like it use the apply button to make make those changes to your to your data set